Good day, everybody. Henny the Sparky here, electrician from New Jersey. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install an electric vehicle charger, a Tesla wall connector, full walkthrough tutorial. So first thing you want to do is you want to establish what type of electrical panel do you have? Do you have a flush mounted panel or do you have a surface mounted panel? In this case, we have a flush mounted panel because it's in the drywall. Here's the customer's electrical panel. It is currently a 100 amp main panel. Our course of action is the customer wants the Tesla charger right here. And here, look at the Tesla Model Y, the new 2025 red color. Super nice. Anyways, this is our plan of attack. So we're going to come in here from the bottom with our wire. I'm going to install a junction box, a 1900 box, and then we're going to run pipe to over here along the wall and then out to the charger. So right now I'm currently using a panel buddy screwdriver. A panel buddy screwdriver, everybody, is a specialty screwdriver that has a curved tip that allows you to make knockouts when the panel's flush mounted. I highly recommend it. So I was able to sleeve my panel buddy under the panel, got a knockout, half inch knockout, and I'm using my paddle bit right now to make a hole. It's an inch and a quarter sized hole, just enough to fit my half inch Romex connector clamp on connector. So I'm tightening it on the wire prior to I install it. So that's what you guys want to do is you want to install it prior. So it just slips in just like that and boom. So we got our wire in the wall, guys. Nice and professional, nice and clean. I then raise it up high enough so I can get my lock ring on. I put my half inch lock ring and now I'm cutting the wire just enough so I need it for the junction box. And I am now getting my box ready, prepped. I mounted my box, guys, using anchors. So I use blue Coley anchors. I'm using a level. Always want to make sure it's straight. I'm getting my ground tail in. And now prepping for my EMT run. So here, guys, what it looks like, you know, prep for EMT. I'm using an offset bender, guys. And this is called a little kicker. I highly recommend if you're a service electrician to get a little kicker. Um, I could use a regular bender, you know, and do my offsets manually, but this little kicker is nice. It's a speed demon, really gets your installs done way faster. And I'm you now using a conduit bender for my 90 degree on the wall, using my level to make sure it's straight. And guys, see, here we go. We're rolling now. So I got my EMT connector in. I'm now strapping in. I'm using anchors, guys, the entire time. So I couldn't find a stud. So I'm going to use Coley anchors, which is completely fine. Stud is always better, but Coley anchors do suffice. And I highly recommend to get this Coley set, guys. Really good. And Coley first, use a quarter inch bit and boom. So I'm screwing in and just wiping off my EMT, just checking my work. And I'm using an inch and a quarter paddle bit again, guys. So inch and a quarter paddle bit, sleeve in my three quarter inch EMT to outside the house. And I end up installing another 1900 box for my pull box. And here's now prepping the charger. In order to prep the charger, guys, you need to manually make your three quarter inch hole. So I take a stepper bit. I put my three quarter inch weather tight connector inside, use a level to make sure my charger is mounted straight. And I'm getting my wire ready now, guys. So Using my wire, I run two number six gauges and one number 10 gauge ground. The Tesla charger is gonna be on a 40 amp breaker. So I did run A2 Romex in the wall, which is completely fine with the code for a 40 amp breaker. And six gauge is more than good for a 40 amp. So I had six gauge wire THHN only in my truck. I would have ran eight gauge to keep it the same but I only had six gauge, so which is completely fine as long as the breaker does not exceed 50 amps. The breaker is 40 amps and my Tesla charger is gonna be 32 amp continuous. So right now you guys can see I'm torquing my connections and when you torque your connections, guys, there are three terminals, two hot wires and one ground wires because this is a 240 volt car charger. So there is no neutral needed. 
and the charger comes with a security torque bit and right now that is what i'm using to secure the cover and you use a security torque bit when you're actually making the terminations inside the unit and right now guys we got our unit terminated i'm actually grounding the second junction box anytime you install a 1900 box guys you need to ground the box that is code all right guys so update we got the tesla wall connector installed we got all our wires in terminated two number six gauges one number 10 gauge ground here is our pull box guys we use a 1900 that was our pull box and we ran a 90 guys see 90 degrees offset you already know i try to do one piece but you know my measurement was a little off so i used a coupling which is okay and now guys we're getting to the end terminations guys so we ran our 82 romex in the wall and now we have a junction box and we have our THHN wires feeding to outside the Tesla charger. So now I'm gonna terminate, well, I'm gonna terminate the splice box. And I like to keep a, a hand, a hand's distance of wire. I think that's a sweet spot, so. All right, hand's distance. I'm gonna cut like here. I'll keep that. All right, guys, so we got our wire nuts done. So we got our number six. We got our number sixes. I got an eight, number eight, two Romex in the wall, but number six THHN, which is fine. That is okay. It's fine with the code. And I am now tucking them in the box. I've got to make sure they're nice and tucked. Two. Wires are nice and tucked. Time to put the cover on. We're coming along, guys. Coming along. bang all right guys we're getting there so right now i'm currently cutting the sheathing of the romex wire with my razor knife you want to be careful whenever you're using a razor knife because you don't want to cut yourself okay razor knives are sharp and right now i'm currently installing my ground wire guys first thing you want to do whenever terminating is install the ground wire first all right it'll make your life easier the ground wire install it on the ground bar this is a main panel so the neutrals and grounds are bonded with the same ground bar and right now i am stripping my wires guys and as you can see i identified my wires these are two hot wires that are going into a 40 amp double pull breaker so you can see i got my black and my red wire the red wire was originally white due to the romex but i taped it so it's always nice especially for inspection to you know clearly show what you are doing especially for the next guy who comes right so two hot wires just making it nice and neat, trying to tuck go, it in. Boom. And yeah, guys, boom, we are all boom, set. Boom, boom, We finished, guys. Time to flip the breaker on. That's all she wrote, guys. You know your Tesla's on, guys, when you see that green light. So when you see that green light, you know you're good. Yeah, guys, 32 amp continuous. We're not done yet. We need to commission the charger. And how to commission it is very easy. You just got to go to the Tesla One app. I want to show you real quick how to commission this charger. So you have to go to the Tesla One app. You want to make sure that you're holding down this button until your Tesla charger is pulsing. So right now the light is pulsing. It's telling me join. So you're going to join the, the network of the charger. Boom, guys. Now we can commission it. 40 amp breaker, United States, done, commissioned.